Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at how the Swagman XC2 two-bike platform rack fits on the 2023 Cadillac XT4. The Swagman XC2 is popular because it's affordable, you still have the perks of a platform rack without having to pay the premium price of a platform rack. Now it's very simple, very minimalistic, so if you're looking for a rack where gets the job done and you don't want to pay extra for things you don't need, then you might be interested in this one. So it has its pros, it has its cons. One of the cons is that you will not be able to open up your hatch unless you take your bikes off. It's really just pop that into your hitch receiver, tighten it down, put your bikes on and get to the trail. Now with that in mind, the way it holds on to your bike is simple. You have a frame mount. So as long as your loops are lined up to your wheelbase, Make sure your wheels are staying properly on it. It does have a 52 inch wheelbase. Then this frame mount can secure your frame and you've got a solid fit on the rack. When you're ready to take the bike off, you just press the button on the frame mount right there. Lift this hook up. You do have the option to lift it all the way off if that makes it easier for you. And then you can lift your bike up comes a little close to the vehicle so be careful with those different pedals and the handlebars let's get a better grip here we're gonna go around and we're out so just like that our bike is off and we're ready to hit the trails now notice with this how it's held together with pins and knobs so knobs there on the cradle loops those are there to adjust your cradles as needed very quick and easy to adjust and then you have these hooks you just put it up into the mast and then that secures your frame so when you want to just drive around town you don't want to take up much space what you can actually do is just pull the pins in here pop that mast right back down and push the pins right back in. So it's very easy to make this work to whatever you need it to do. See how low profile it is? See how compact? Well, let's take some measurements to see exactly how compact. I measure from the bumper. I go out to one of these wheel hoops and this sits at 17 inches of distance. Obviously, your bikes are going to take up a little bit more space because of their handlebars. But if you have a small garage, you're trying to park into a really tight spot, this is a great way to do so. With it folded down like this, you can open up your hatch. You can change out your shoes while you're here. You can put away your groceries, grab your helmets, grab your backpacks without having to take the bike rack off. Yes, you do have to take the bikes off. And that's going to be the downside. If you want to, you could take a look at the Swagman XTC Tilt, and that one has a tilting feature. This has an inch and a quarter shank, fits into your two inch hitch receiver. Now, your two inch adapter has an anti rattle bolt, so that takes out the shake side to side, but because of that adapter too, you will have a little bit of up and down movement normal with most of your inch and a quarter to two inch adapters well with that being said it does have a 35 pound weight capacity it's a very lightweight bike rack you can fold these up to be even more compact if you want to store it inside of your apartment or things like that in a smaller position it can fold up even to the point where you can put it inside of your hatch and that's a cool option too now if you're looking for things like a greater weight capacity or a tilting feature this does not have that you may be more interested in the xtc tilt or the swagman schnook as an alternative so simple bike rack doesn't take up much space this was a look at the swagman xc2 bike platform rack and how it fits on the 2023 cadillac xt4 this is our test course let's start with the slalom this shows side to side action such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. 
This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.